A great way to change a color of part of an image is by using the fill command. The first thing you want to do is make sure that you've set the foreground color to the color that you want to apply for the fill. So go ahead and click for your foreground color, choose the color that you want, and then click OK. Okay, next thing is, is you want to select the part that you want to change. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to change the very center of my flower. Now you can use the marquee, the lasso tool, or the quick selection tool. I'm going to go ahead and use the magnetic lasso tool. I'm going to zoom up so I can see it and make my selection. And I don't need to be real precise here because I'm going to go ahead and change it if needed. And I really just want to get the outline right now. So I can go ahead and go up to edit and then go to fill. Now I could choose to use the foreground color. I can also choose to use the background color, a different color, um, pattern, uh, something from my history, black, 50% gray or white. I'm going to actually go to color and I can actually pick a new color here. And I've changed my mind. I think I'm just going to use a black. Okay, and we could also choose a pattern here. This is where we would change the pattern. Now blending, you have all your normal blending modes that you could choose from if you'd like to use one of those. You can also change the opacity. So if you'd like to keep it partially transparent, you could do so. I'm going to go ahead and mine's going to be a very light fill because I want it to be transparent so I get a little bit of the brown coming through. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And it's hard to see because I did set it to be transparent, but I do have a little bit of a fill here. You can see a black phase. So what it did is it got my uh, in the middle of my flower a little bit darker in filling it. I of course could do something more traumatic if I like, and I could go ahead and I could change something totally outrageous here, 100%. So it's going to be solid color. Click OK, and I've totally changed it to fill just part of my image with a different color.